Hey, what's up, little time How are you doing today? Well, if you are Pete Davidson, baby, you are acting a fool. And guess what? You got suspended from your TV show. I'm going to explain that in a second. But I do want to say this, right? Let me just get to the point. Pete had a meltdown on set a full-on meltdown. Kim is scrambling to distance herself from it. However, let's just put two and two together. Let me get this straight. Kanye was like, oh, so Kim's gonna let Kim down. Maybe Kim's the wrong road. Just hear me out. Kanye did no contact with Kim for months. I know it wasn't his own choice. She forced him to, but he did no contact. Kept his mouth shut. His kingdom rose. Yay, sports rose. Everything. He started messing with Kim again, coming around, being on her good side, poof, lost his mind, kingdom collapsed, you know what's going on. Pete Davidson um, literally stepped away from Kim, got all these cool shows, all these movie deals, all these things going. Kim starts creeping back into his life. Kim, he suffers this traumatic meltdown on set. The details are juicy, I'm about to get into it. And Kim's around. Did you guys see a common denominator? Me thinks I might have found the problem. I'm just saying, listen, whatever Kim got going on, it is definitely gush gush macaroni and cheese, but baby, it'll also suck the life, career, success, and everything out from you. Y'all, let's get into the reports. Before we do, hit the like, comment, subscribe button. Your girl is back. If you're wondering where I've been, I did a live explaining where I've been. Spoiler alert. I'm still alive, but I, re I did a live saying where I've been. Um, go ahead and check that out if you want. But for right now, let's get into these Pete stories. Because, baby, I'm getting a thing the Kardashian curse is real. And y'all thought it didn't cross racial lines. Looks like it did. Woo! I know. Pip on a Chris is like, please, my reach is the United Colors of Benetton. We are the sirens of the world. We shall pull everybody down into the sea of abyss of destruction and why we rise up with your fame. Okay, so uh, where are we at, right? Um, uh, oh, that's right, Pete. Now, this is actually, first of all, I hope that Pete does get things together, but let's just get um, into it because ooh, it's deep. Ready? Hit that like, subscribe, comment. You know the deal. Okay. <laughs> First of all, the, the title of this article, it's literally, is Pete okay? <laughs> Maybe I'll make that the title of mine. Kim Kardashian's ex, Pete Davidson, suffers meltdown on TV show set throws coffee, candles, and TV in his trailer. <laughs> I wonder if that is the, the $13 candle um, that, you know, the little travel set he bought of candles for um, Kim's birthday and just sent her one and kept the rest. Anyway, Pete Davidson has allegedly suffered a meltdown on a major TV production, throwing items and damaging property. It's been exclusively reported by The Sun. Now, here's the thing about The Sun. This has not been refuted by Pete's camp, Kim's camp, anybody else. This happened last week. Um, listen, it looks like this is uh, uh, legit. They said, a source claimed due to the alleged incident that the former Saturday Night Live star has been given time off to focus on himself. Now pause right there. I know what you're saying, Tisa. Damn it with the pauses, read the article in a second, okay? Um, here's my whole point. Why is the media at whole skipping over the fact? Because Kanye created such a spectacle, it's easy to ignore everything that's going on. But let me just say this, right? Kanye's been accused of saying some really, mm, I'm not getting into that, but you know what's going on with that. Now, whether you agree with them or not, right? I do want to say this. The Kardashians have been covering up for Kanye for 10 years. There was a David Letter interview. They skipped over the parts that he said was that he wanted to name his um, his um, uh, uh, album after, right? They covered that up. So much information where the people close to Kanye has been like, he's always been like this. And it lets you know Kanye also the way he moves. Why didn't we hear about this? Because the Kardashian media machine was doing full deflection. That's why a lot of people are looking at Kim and Chris sideways, right? Because how can you be with someone that believes these things 
and be like, oh, but it's not gonna affect the marriage. It's not gonna affect, it's like being with someone that likes to eat poop for dinner. And you and the kids are sitting at the dinner table eating and they come with their plate of poop and they're like, I'm just eating my poop. It shouldn't bother you. What's the big deal? You don't have to eat in the poop. You don't even have to agree it's right. I'm gonna sit here and eat my poop. And even if they don't wanna do it at the dinner table, just the fact that you know you're married to someone that likes to eat poop in their free time. Does it really seem like you can stay married to that person um, unless you also don't think eating poop is that bad, unless eating poop doesn't disgust you? That's the way I look at Kim and Kanye. I'm not saying she agrees with all his stuff. I am saying that I don't think that they disgust her and I don't think she thinks anything of it. I think she's like, yeah, okay, fine, you have a point. Now, why is this important? Because think about it. Kanye was doing all the stuff we didn't notice. Who else was doing all this stuff and they were painting him as the perfect person? Ryan's with skeet, got crunchy socks, stuff smells like Doritos, Fritos, the cool ranch kind, right? Pete Davidson. This, you mean to tell me that the whole time he was with you, which was almost a year, you never saw not a word of him being unstable, him flipping out, him doing something when the stress got. You invited this man to meet your kids. He tattooed their names, chilling on the lap, doing everything. What's the odds we did? you had no idea that he was a little bit volatile? What's the odds? I think the odds are very, very low, which just lets you know something about that. Now that said about Pete, I've long held this thing. I don't think Pete is a talented community, comedian. However, he's probably a talented actor. He can't be hired all these jobs just on friendship. People have to. I always wondered, you can be anything you want to be, but when you are this sensitive to things, should you be in an industry that eats up even someone that says, I'm the healthiest healthy? Like they drive that the Hollywood drives everybody crazy. That said, if this is Pete's dream, I hope he gets the help he needs. But listen to the man that Kim had around her kids. Woo! Uh, we can exclusively, we have exclusively learned that Pete ran into some trouble on the set of Bup Kiss, a TV show he's currently filming in New York City. A source close to production claimed that Pete had a meltdown on the set Thursday evening. Now, I know Dumas is disputing this, but Dumas is the ops. Duma is a PR piece. Yes, they report gossip, but they, in my opinion, also will turn a story to whoever's PR agent or checkbook open stuff to them. I do not consider Duma authoritative, especially if Duma is like, no, we know for a fact this didn't happen. Who are you? You are a random internet gossip site that is super cool with the Kardashians. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Get. Anyway, they said he. They said um, Pete had a meltdown on the set Thursday. He threw two candles through his trailer and damaged a second truck's windshield. This man threw candles out the, a window and literally it, it broke one window and hit a truck's windshield. Giving incredible hope vibes. This is the man you had your kids around. Which speaks to me of Kim as a mother. It really honestly does. He also threw coffee on the wall and broke a T. Oh my God. He broke a TV in half on the inside his trailer. I'm reading this real time in case you guys can't tell. A source added, apparently Pete's been given some time off to get his ish together and focus on himself. <gasps> Do you think he's going back to rehab? The star was now on, on set filming on Friday following the reported blowout according to the insider. It also remains unclear what, what exactly set off Pete's alleged on set outburst. Law enforcement in Long Island City, New York, where the show is currently in production, told the Sun that the police report had not been had not been filed over the alleged incident. They reached out to Pete's reps and reps for Buckkiss for comment, but did not immediately hear back. Yo. Mm, 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 mm. Now get this, they said Pete's been keeping a low profile, um, but appeared in good spirits during this month when he made a rare appearance in public. Although Kim and Pete are no longer a couple, the pair are still thought to be in touch. That was a rumor spread by Kim's people because again, she spread that rumor by Kanye was acting a damn fool. And she wanted to remind people that she's so far away from Kanye. Look, I have a boyfriend. He's not Kanye. I don't, I don't, I don't remember me. I'm on the lighter side of life. Um, now, 
Early this week, it was reported exclusively through E and a number of publications that Pete and Kim were regularly in contact via text, right? However, they're saying Kim told her life is too messy to get back together with her ex. Girls, get all of out of there. They said they do still talk a lot, but they're good friends and laugh a lot. He's, he's holding in there and tells her that he would jump on a plane at a moment's notice for her. But Kim thinks life is just too messy right now and doesn't want anything serious. Kim is writing her own Sweet Valley High fan fiction. She doesn't want to string him along. She doesn't want to do that and give him hope. There's no chance. Girl, get out of here. Let's get out. Anyway, um, let's see. What else can we find out about this? Okay, listen. They're just going over, keep it up, the Kardashians. But I'll, I need to do a recap for that. Anyway, my whole point about this is, and I want to tell you guys, right? When are we going to have a conversation about the parenting? When I, I understand the way the world we live in, if people crouch things and pretty ideas, if you say this, if you say that, the way that we let somebody with a history like Pete, right? get close to Kim's kids, tattoo the neck. And by we, I don't mean like we are the authority. I mean the fact that everybody called Kanye crazy. I know we have different reasons to call him that now. Everybody said he was crazy, acting up, all this other stuff. When at the end of the day, he turned out to be 100% right about the fact that Pete, at that point, is not mentally stable enough to handle stress and should not have been around the children. And all it took was Kim to fake like she was scared of Kanye, even though she just admitted that her and Kanye are always chilling. And the T is, he dressed her and picked all her looks out, right? The same man, man that she was saying was OJing her, right? Um, the whole point is at the end of the day, through all that hoopla and fanfare and all this stuff, and he might have even had nefarious reasons for doing it. But at the end, Kanye was 100% right about who Pete was, what he could handle, and whether he should be with the kids. And all Kim had to do was get on Ellen and be like, I talked to a bunch of child therapists, and they said it's okay to introduce mom, daddy, I'm sorry, introduce uh, the kids to mommy's new boyfriend after six months of dating, to which he dumped her three months later. Okay, all right, I did not know this, this video was gonna take this turn, but yo, I'll actually have to say in this case, at the end of the day, Kanye had the answer. Anyway, my little title tells, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.